Hey everybody, um, Toddzilla here. I'm just gonna go over a super easy three star attack on Town Hall 9s if they don't have any double bomb setups. It's almost guaranteed I run this almost every single time in a war. Let me just go to the most recent war here. We'll go over and look at. Number five, three star by me. And number six, three star by me. And start off with number five. We'll just scout the base out real quick and take a peek at what they have. Um, what works best for this particular type of attack is um, any base that doesn't have any real threat of a double bomb, double giant bomb setup, that is. Um, a lot of people get fooled by thinking, like, ooh, you know, here. You can see there's possible double bomb, but that's actually only three tiles. There's no way there can be a double bomb there. Even here, um, the throw of a double bomb is almost non-existent. You can only fit one two by two in that area, so you don't even have to worry about that. So this base almost has no threat of a double bomb. And the only threat is technically right here in that little empty square. And most likely just from knowing how the bases are set up, those are most likely going to be Teslas. So um, my plan of attack, or any time that you use this, um, we'll look at the replay real quick, and I'll pause it just so you can see what I use. It's almost exclusively what I use. I build one golem myself. I have a golem in my clan castle. And then I use those in an attempt to basically as a kill squad to go get the archer queen because if you don't get the archer queen for this type of attack you're almost never going to even get two stars on it so the whole focus for me on these attacks is to have a kill squad where basically it's comprised of your golem your cc golem and then some wizards to funnel and then once the wizards kind of have the funnel set up you release both your witches and then your royals and Depending on how the base is set up, if their Archer Queen is buried deep, I tend to run with three heals and then a jump to get into the Queen so we can kill the Queen right away. And if their Queen's kind of on the outside or, you know, easily killed just by getting through that first set, I'll run four heals just for my Hogs. So the whole plan of attack is send my kill squad in, my two Golems, my two Witches, you know, in between five, six, seven wizards to make a funnel to get rid of, you know, everything basically from that elixir storage to that barracks cleared out. So then when I drop my witches, I just go straight into this first um, section here with the cannon and the gold storage. And then from there, you know, I'll throw a jump spell down so my royals, especially your king, they'll automatically path right to the Archer Queen once they start attacking your golems that get through. So that's the whole plan of the attack, and then once that's kind of set up already, then you can release your hogs. And I, I find most of my success comes from putting my hogs in at a 90 degree angle from where I'm going in. So if I'm going in right here, I want my hogs to come in at a 90 degree angle a lot of these defenses in this area will be focused on my kill squad and the hogs don't take as much damage there so we'll take a peek at my attack here just with the general knowledge of what to kind of expect if they don't have any double bombs set up on their base so we'll hit play i try to pull a clan castle this tesla comes out i had scouted before and i knew i could come there so i do that i poison everything down Two poisons, run that as well for your CC pull. And then once that's gone, I send in my things. I set up my funnel with my wizards to make sure that when I drop my witches down, they focus right in. Send in my wall breakers. They get through. They trigger a bomb. Actually, my, my next set of wall breakers triggered the bomb and I, I dropped my jump spell so I can get into those three sections so then I dropped my hogs in at that 90 degree angle you can see my witches just going in there with the skeletons 
destroying a bunch of stuff. I've already triggered two bombs that I know of, so I know there's only two left. One was there. I still have two heals left to heal up all these hogs that are going down here. And I know that there's basically nowhere else that they're going to have any double bombs, so I'm not too worried. And on my heals, I'll use those pretty strategically in the most part, knowing that there's no real threat of a double bomb. And I can see where most of the defenses are at that point. Just throw down the last heal to keep most of my hogs alive. And you can see both my witches still running around. One here beating on the archer, or the town hall with the archer queen there. And everything else kind of just going from there. And I sprinkle in the rest of my wizards, you know, as my hogs clear out so then I don't have to worry about running out of time or anything. I just sprinkle the four or five wizards that I don't use for my funnel. And you can see a really easy three star. I believe this particular one took about two and a half minutes. Um, I've had success, you know, with bases like this without the double bombs. I've three starred them in under a minute and a half several times. So it's a very, very easy attack. Almost guaranteed three star if you're not a moron. So um, with that being said, go out and try it yourself and hopefully you have success as well. Thanks.